killed him. Felon's dead. He's gone along with his name. All gone. All gone. All gone. All gone. My mate Fenerd once nabbed a seed that had fallen on Mummy Dearest's trunk chest thing. It was never the same after that. I guess losing half your face does something to a guy. Or so my mam says. You hear the roar of fire, the crack of burnt awnings falling. The spirit stands before you, silent among the wreckage, his skin half melted down his face. He turns his gaze towards the corpse of Lone Wolf Pigsbane. His peeping skull cracks into a grin. He turns to you and bows. The spirit's grin lingers as the spectral flames around him fade. Skin reforms around his skull. He is a handsome man with gentle eyes. He waves and vanishes. Boring. The Fletcher trembles before the mass of bodies littering the camp. Then looks you in the eyes. They're... They're dead. That means... That means I can leave. What I do best. Making bows and arrows. Roost was a fan of my work and... Well, he forced me to work for him. Gods. This means I'm free. A ship. A bit of sea air could be just what I need to relax. Decide what comes next. He reaches for your hand and shakes it, his eyes smiling. It's a deal. Must be moored off the Driftwood Harbor, right? I'll meet you there. Thank you. The elf spirit seizes you by the shoulders, but you feel nothing. His eyes are panicked, and he appears to be shouting something, but you can't hear him. He screams on, but with another's voice. An elven child, in terror and in pain. The fog, the fog, the fog! Those screams will never leave you, even after your death.
The spirit stands with her feet apart, arms at her sides, palms up. She appears to be chanting something, perhaps a prayer to the sky, but you hear nothing. You are a dancer, a lover, a jester. But then the death fog takes the forest and all you know is gone. The screams of your people echo in your heart. You become a warrior. You die fighting, all play forgotten. see you again. Hope you're enjoying this gorgeous weather. You look like you deserve it. Huh? You can talk to them? Odd. What? Interesting. Did the, uh, the tree have a message for me? What now? Hey, kiddo, you're talking crazy. It's a tree, not a person. Even if it used to be a person, it ain't anymore. You been licking tree toads? Wait, stop, please. No, not like this, not like this. The ghostly elf stands protectively over his court. You are a warrior, proud and true. Get away from me, you low likely story wolf. Go on, piss off. Get away from me, you low likely story wolf. Else what? You lone wolves kick the... What could you possibly do The Likely story... Get away from me, you lone wolf tosser! A great peace. He is gone. The one who destroys me. I am free again. Thank you. The log takes a breath. A great slab of the finest live wood bark slides free, ornate and glowing with sauce. It is the spirit's gift to you. A second skin. The wounded bark heals.
We continue. We go on. You save us all. You save us all. My baby, my girl, there you are. Mother! Honored one, we have time to speak later, but first I must speak to Sabil. Too long do I keep silent, too long do I wait, no more. I long await this moment, Sabil. Finally, we speak among tree and kin. Sahela pats Sabil's right arm with a warm, motherly smile, but then... Then her fingers run across the names tattooed upon her skin, and her blind eyes see it all. She pulls her hand back, as if scalded, shock temporarily overpowering her. My child, what is wrong? These names, they're the names of the dead, of the scions of our people. I... I don't know. The names, they are scions. Of course, your servants, your champions, your worshippers. Do you, do you not remember, Sabir? You are the prime scion. You're like I am, only far greater. I am but a limb, a branch where once there were many. You, you are the heart. You are the hope for our new homeland, the promise of our future, the very reason we do not give in to despair. You speak falsehoods. If I were a scion, I'd know it. I'd, I'd feel it with every beat of my heart. Your heart's been dulled. You're confused, you're conflicted, and all because her darkened eyes scour her body with an uncanny intensity. All because of this. She reaches for Sabil's cheek with a sure hand and softly traces her scar with her thumb. Careful. Such unspeakable horror, this thing. I see all now. I figure who you are, the one we fear, the needle in the night, the scion that is scion killer. That is who you are, is it not? Sabil's eyes close. You can only imagine the scenes of bloody murder she sees in her very own dark. I... I was forced to. You cause much grief, Diliana, Kuma. Silius, Mindaran, all the many others on your long, lean arm, dead friends. They are dead because you run away. They are dead because you do not want to be the heart. Your fear is how Roost captures you. Your fear is how they scar you. The scar makes you kill scions. Without scions, all elves die. If all elves die, the fault is yours. She grabs her brusquely, forces her face close to Sibyl's. You remember. My blind eyes make you see. Sibyl is forced to look into Sahela's murky white eyes. It looks like she's about to collapse. You can feel her drawing grateful strength from your support. I saw it all. Me, the Prime Scion, destined to be the heart that pulses at the center of all ancestor trees. But the Great Mother Tree spoke of death and domination. I hated her, fled from her, only to end in a strange land among unkind strangers. First there was Roost, then the Master. She smiles and strokes your cheek. Thank you. 
but we understand not. We demand you be the heart. You are the greatest of us all, the Prime Scion. We need you. You must go to the Nameless Isle where the Mother Tree roots. She is sick with fog that undid so many. She is dying. We've need of a new mother. Of you. Find that wound that it does not fester. He wants Scions dead. If she is the heart, he is defeated. Doing as we say is vengeance, Sabeel. But it's not quite the needle. Sabeel is her own calm self again. Her eyes trace a bird of prey, black against blue in the sky. The mother, the master. We'll see. It is not a decision for today. But the nameless isle awaits. The Great Mother calls you with every breath of wind that rustles through her leaves. Heed her call, Sabeel. It rustles for you. You are a new mother to us all. The heart that beats in our every chest. To be the heart or to be heartless, is that it? Wouldn't count your chickens just yet. Find that wound that it does not fester. My dearest friend, the one who saves me. You give us everything. Thank you for helping me. Without you, I am already dead. You save us all. My girl is back. Our scion is back. I know what you need, and I can help you. We can help you. She crouches down, placing a hand on the earthen ground. Can you hear them? Their roots stretch beneath us, even now. Yes, they are cut down, destroyed and defiled. But our roots run deeper than any know. Our roots cross the world many times over. I will link you. You will hear them. They will feed you, increase the source in you, increase the power. She leans toward you, her veiled eyes directed toward the ground. The slightest of smiles plays over her lips, then vanishes. Her space inside you clears. You have room for more source. You have room for more... everything. You have room for the whispers of the trees. Hold your hand to the ground. I hold my hand over yours. We breathe together. We call the spirit of the trees to us. Close your eyes. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. With each in-breath, the voices flutter in, whispers at first, then gentle murmurs like water over rocks. The wind of the voices enters you as you and Sahela breathe together. It travels down your throat, into your belly, around your heart. Suddenly, your blood runs icy cold, then warms again. Each breath makes you stronger. The voices fortify you, quicken your pulse, make a space in your heart where, yes, a great power can inhabit you. You exhale, and the voices, all but one, no louder than a whisper, flutter away. The space within you remains. It is the voice of the trees, of the mother. It will remain with you now. I hear it too. Beautiful and strong. 
Yours will grow if you let it. It will shrink if you do not. We are connected now, you and I. You and all our kind. I give you something too. A thanks. Take this spear. It destroys evil. It helps you. You help us more than you know. We make arrangements. We travel soon. I must meet someone who can help us. I say no more than this. But I do wish you good luck. And perhaps we meet again someday. like there's fire in my blood. I never imagined such power. Once more, you feel your soul expand with raw source. Deep inside, your god calls for you again. You should perform the Meister's ritual one last time, here or in Siva's vault. Heal your wounds. We need you standing. Healed or not, I fight. Bind that wound that it does not fester. You protect me. You save me. You are my light. It is a gift. A gift so great I sometimes wonder if I am worthy to bear it. I see my people safe again, thanks to you. You protect me. It is a gift. I see my... I see the good in you. Our scion is with us in this moment, so in this moment we leave this place. I see the good in you. I see... Hello, dear one. Heal your wounds. We need you standing. Healed or not, I fight. The tree form spirit slowly becomes aware of you once more. I see you. <sighs> Second time's a charm? Or have I asked?
<laughs> Be on your way now, my dear. Perhaps we'll have matters to discuss again later. I'll be glad when we leave Reaper's coast behind. There's too many of my former comrades roaming around there. Your Highness, good to see you again. Of course. Told you I would, didn't I? Sure thing. Keep distant. My own demons haunt me too closely. I cannot also bear the burden of yours. I've got sword fighters, mages, archers, all willing to fight by your side if the price is right.
Corbin, the Fletcher you rescued from Roost Anlon at the Culwood Mills, sparks to life at the sight of you and breaks into a great grin. Oh, yeah? Oh, I mean, hey, how are you? All settled in myself? Can't tell you how glad I am to be here. And thank you for bringing me. I feel it, you know? I really do. By all means. Nice. Final selling. Yes. Capital. Good luck to you. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it.
Selling capital. Good luck to you. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. How are you holding up? Buying or selling capital. Good luck to you. seem different. Tell me, what have you learned? Or has the smoke simply addled your mind beyond repair? Vampirism? As if killing a creature weren't enough, you should utterly destroy its soul too. A dark skill, but certainly useful. The Meister slumps back in her chair, closing her eyes. Her breathing is shallow and ragged. Very well, then. But as you lack the glowing eyes of the Divine, or the purpose of one soon to be divine, I trust you need more source. You need <laughs> another master of source, naturally. I just pray the list you stole from the Magisters was long enough. suck the smoke deep into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud. There is an intense pounding in your head, and you can feel the world fading. As the world fades away, you lose all sense of being grounded. You reach out, but you could feel yourself falling slowly, sinking into the depths of your own soul.
not. is mine.
Red Prince, you've come not a moment too soon. It's here. Even here. We must hurry now. We must race toward the well with all the determination of the eagle diving for its prey. Your prey lies on a far-off shore at the heart of the Nameless Isle. It is a place no one can reach unless their soul becomes their compass. She places a hand over your heart, and you suddenly feel it, an unmistakable pull in a new and distant direction. The battle for divinity is about to begin in earnest. The other gods and their chosen will try to outflank us, just like we must outflank them. But I will be with you. I will guide you, stand by you. I will watch as you drink from the well's spring, and as its source surges into you. The void will be overcome, and you will be the god of gods. The end is nigh. Don't fail us now. You jolt back to the world, stumbling forward. Dark smoke surrounds you, hanging in the air like black fog. This feels wrong. 
The Meister's cry cuts through the haze. You look up just in time to see what steps out of the shadows. None. Yeah. 